Hey, it's Timo here with ProductiveSuperDad.com and today's topic is family calendars. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what is a family calendar, why you need one, and what is the most optimum location for your family calendar. Good, let's get started. First of all, what is a family calendar? Well, family calendar is nothing more than just a paper-based calendar in a location where it's easily accessible by your family. And you may be asking, well, why do I need to have a paper-based calendar? Why can't I use any electronic calendars? Well, of course you could use electronic calendars if you like, but the main purpose for this family calendar is that it's easily accessible and it's easily updatable. And in that sense, having a paper-based calendar is a really good thing. I mean, for example, if there is a date that the rest of your family has to be aware of, all you have to do is just take your pen and, you know, put a really small note to that calendar. And that's all there is to it. You do not have to, you know, start your computer or, or take your smartphone and, and uh, you know, update your calendar that way. But anyway, yeah, that's basically what, what a family calendar is all about. You put those very important dates uh, or other things that your family has to be aware of, like birthdays or, for example, you might be taking a business trip and uh, you are not uh, going to be home for a couple of days. So you want to put those things uh, into that calendar. And of course, one thing to remember is that you are still going to have your uh, private calendar. That's, that's a completely different thing, but family calendar is for those matters that the rest of the family has to be aware of. Now, what would be the most uh, uh, optimum location for your calendar? Well, in our household, kitchen is the place uh, where we are spending our time on a daily basis. And because of that, our family calendar is attached to the refrigerator door. It's easily uh, visible for everyone and it's easily accessible and you can easily update it whenever you want to do that. So you might want to consider a similar type of location for your calendar. Uh, in our case it's kitchen, in your case it might be something else. But anyway, the main point is that it should be easily accessible by you and the rest of your family. Okay, this is the tip for this week. I truly hope that you found this tip valuable. And please share this video on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google Plus by clicking one of those buttons on the actually it's on your left side <laughs> when you look at it so on, on the left side of the blog click one of those buttons and spread the word okay that's what i wanted to tell you this time i will talk to you soon bye bye